Palpation is a very useful technique to master for the rabbit breeder. With this technique, you can determine whether a breeding is successful just 14 days after the breeding. If palpation indicates that breeding was not successful, you can attempt an immediate rebreed. In contrast, without this technique, you would have to wait an additional 20 days or so before you can conclusively determine that your doe has missed. This sets you back nearly 5 weeks compared to just 2 weeks if you used palpation. Palpation is also much more precise in its results than other practices such as test breeding or mood evaluation. As such, this is a technique that all rabbit breeders should take the time to master. From my experience, I did not have very much difficulty learning palpation. However, I have heard that many people have tried unsuccessfully to do so and eventually gave up. I think the most difficult part of palpation is being able to tell when you are palpating rabbit manure pellets and when you are palpating embryos. As advised in a previous video, you can easily practice learning what rabbit manure pellets feel like by practicing on bugs or non-pregnant does. However, when it comes to learning to differentiate the rabbit manure pellets from the embryos, there really is only one way to practice this and that is on a pregnant doe. I know many people are concerned about causing harm to the embryos when they are doing this and this is a valid concern. In addition, this method of learning also doesn't offer any kind of feedback as to whether you are correctly identifying embryos versus rabbit manure pellets. You will only know that you are wrong when the doe fails to kindle and in that case you are no better off than if you didn't palpate to begin with. This video will demonstrate an idea that I came up with that I believe will overcome both of these learning challenges for those who are interested in learning palpation but have so far been unsuccessful doing so. Alright, let's get started. To practice learning palpation using this method, you will need the following materials. 1 Ziploc freezer bag of 1 quart size, fresh innards from 1 rabbit, and lastly, several grapes. The general advice regarding palpation is that you want to feel for the presence of the embryos which at 14 days resemble grapes in size, shape, and texture. From my experience, I have found this advice to be quite accurate, so we are using these grapes to simulate embryos in this exercise. Here are the grapes that we will be using to simulate embryos. Here is our 1 quart Ziploc freezer bag which is similar in length to the abdominal cavity area of an adult New Zealand white rabbit. You will see that I also have all the abdominal area contents from a fresh harvest. This content includes the stomach, the intestinal trails, the liver, the spleen, and the kidneys. You will see that I intentionally left out the kidneys. The kidneys are attached to the posterior wall of the abdominal cavity on either side of the spine. As such, it does not come into play during palpation like all the other organs, which will float around in the abdominal cavity. Once the contents are in the Ziploc bag, we are now going to put in several grapes to simulate embryos. Before sealing the bag, we're going to squeeze out as much of the air from the bag so that we resemble the non-pressurized conditions of the rabbit's abdominal cavity. Then we're going to mix the contents in the bag. Once the contents are mixed, we are ready to start practicing palpation. As mentioned in previous palpation videos, palpation is performed by squeezing the abdominal area with the thumb on one side and the forefingers on the other side. Practice palpating the bag with your eyes closed. When you feel something round, try to determine what it is. Does it feel like a fresh grape or does it feel like a fresh uncooked pea? If it feels like a pea, then it's a rabbit manure pellet. Once you have made a determination of what it is, then open your eyes and see if you're correct. Palpate the bag and search for a grape. When you think you have found one, open your eyes and see if you were correct. I would love to know if you found this video helpful, so please leave a comment and let me know. Also, if you're looking for detailed information, 
on the hows and whys of palpation, then please visit the resource section of my website. There's a great document there that has many tips on palpation.